Normally, I don't pay much attention to map choices, and with this arrogance, I will be paying the ultimate price for this battle. For a little bit of context, I was playing against Saber's Ragnum on General Eisenberg's artillery themed tournament. So, as a result, both armies are just spamming artillery here, with Saber's Ragnum going for grudge floors organ guns and a bunch of cannons. Now normally with double Sunmaker, I think I'm pretty confident in taking on the Dwarf Artillery, but Saber's Ragnum has the choice to pick the map, and he is picking a very clever one, the Pillar of Bones, allowing the organ guns, which are relatively short in range, to immediately reach their target as soon as the battle begins. The burst damage of the Dwarf multi bower Artillery are obliterating my artillery. And at the same time, a lot of my units are stationed at the back to prevent any Dwarf Vanguard shenanigans, so nothing was in place to disrupt my opponent from firing. With this clever map choice, Sabres was able to nullify the superior range on the Sunmakers, minimizing the damage from the rockets while maximizing the damage of the organ guns. I tried my best to shut down my opponent's artillery, but unfortunately, there is just not much I can do. With the balance of power already shifting massively in the favor of my opponent, two minutes into the game. A quick example on how a map choice can decide the outcome of a battle, so be sure to check what map you're playing on and plan accordingly. I hope you find this video useful, and if you want to see more Total Warhammer content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That's it for today, and thank you for watching. Tacticalich signing out.